Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Um, this video we're going to mostly be talking about duo FNTS, how to prepare for it, how to be the best duo, how to improve as a duo, and just generally just duos. Because Fortnite announced recently, if you guys didn't see, that uh, the future of competitive is duos. The whole year is going to have duo tournaments going on, duo and CSs, all of that fun stuff. So if you're not getting ready for duos, you're losing time. You might as well start getting ready for duos, start thinking about duos, start preparing for duos as soon as you possibly can. So that's what this video is going to be about. Hope you guys enjoy. What to expect from Fortnite Comp 2022? If, if, we, have a, if we have a quick look at the blog, you've got... Duos with a match point format and finals, two round cash cups, third person party events, more competitive features, lovely stuff. Changes to cash cups, we've got champs, openly contender cash cups, so I guess that suits some worse skilled players. Um, but yeah, exciting stuff, exciting stuff with duos. So duos, best thing you can do to get better at duos is stick with one person. Uh, you don't have that weird dynamic with chemistry like you do in trios. Duos, it's just you and a guy. If you don't get on, you should find a, a mate you get on with. You need to have good chem and you need to build off that. They need to be grinding hard. If they're not grinding hard, it's not gonna work. I mean, it's just you and that one guy. So you need to make sure you're on at good times of day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So primarily, first thing for duos, make sure you find a good teammate. Make sure you find a good teammate. You don't wanna change teammates a lot in duos. You wanna find one guy, stick with him, good chem, take it from there, really important. At the moment, with no duo tournaments having been played, the best thing you can do is be watching the pro duo scrims back. Um, so I guess step number two is you want to be watching duo content that's already been made. You want to be watching duo FNCS, even though it's from ages ago, picking up on what they do. You, may, you maybe want to be watching some duo VODs, some duo scrims, and lots of other stuff that can really help you knowing how to play duos. For example, I mean, you can look at the duo dream hacks in the past. You can look at Rise, you can look at Mero, you can look at Clicks and Day. You can look at so many of these good top duos that have performed recently in comp and compare that to how you might want to play in your own duo gameplay. It's super hard really to guess how to physically play duos because we don't know what the season's got in store for us. It could have no movement, it could have tons of movement, it could have... Uh, completely new map i mean we, we just don't know best way to prepare duos is general i mean we know there's going to be building we know there's going to be shooting as long as we know that you can prepare how to tarp in duos how to frag in duos uh, your timing and moving zone maybe you even want to prepare like a small routine that you guys have like let's get on let's do our warm-up let's go play arena for a bit then let's go play scrims for a bit then let's get off or may maybe you want to just focus on yourself for now Maybe you want to try and improve your individual gameplay. Whatever you do, I think watching duo dream hacks is going to be a really big factor of um, improving your gameplay. If you can go watch a top duo in recent finals, you're gonna you're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna learn a lot from them. So yeah, that's a really big point. Watching lots of uh, old duo tournaments is going to be a big one. Third one, I'd say this is maybe the most important. You need to learn a drop spot. I'm assuming this is a new map, right? You need to learn that drop spot so quick. There's going to be a new map with lots of different drop spots, lots of different stuff going on. If you can pick a spot or two and learn them better than anyone else, you will do well. I mean, yeah, there's lots of other factors to include. I mean, you've got mid game, end game and everything in between. But that five minutes of off spawn, if you're the best player at your location, every game, you're going to do well. Um, to give you guys some insight on, I guess, putting this into practice, me and Cease spent a lot of time learning his Slurpee dish. The, so the, this is the dish south of Slurpee on the map. Um, Spent tons of time learning it. We studied it for a few hours every day for about a week or two. Just studied it, the ins, the outs, how to build, how to fight, weird things that can happen, situational stuff. And then he went into solo all-star finals and beat the guy contesting him 5-1. And there's lots to learn from that. I mean, if you know your spot better than the other guy, of course, your mechanics, your aim need to be up to scratch too. But if you know the spot, if you know how to play it, you're going to do well off spawn. And with a new map on the horizon, potentially... You've got to be on that really quick. You've got to not necessarily pick a spot and stick to it forever, but 
you have to be mindful of the fact that if you learn something quicker than this guy, instead of trying to learn every POR, if you learn a few and are the best at them, it's gonna benefit you tons in the long term. Because this isn't even just for that season. Uh, you you being good at a spot is gonna help you for the chapter if that spot stays. So um, yeah, really big point. Figure out what off spawn spot you like and learn it inside out. That's gonna really help you in duos and lots of other game modes. Other, otherwise, just normal grinding. You wanna be playing Kovacs, you wanna be improving your mechanics, you wanna be using Raider's new aim training map, which I think he released recently. I mean, you just, you wanna be improving yourself, but uh, from a duo perspective, all we can do right now is watch tournaments that are going on, or if you are a pro, play in some of the pro events that are being hosted, or you can still play some of the duo scrims. I mean, there's gonna be tarping going on next season. So there's still lots to improve on. Although lots of people might say, well, there's not a new map, we don't know the movement, etc., etc. There's still lots that is going to stay in the game that you can improve. So that's a big one. Just not being lazy, improving what you can improve, and just getting ready for duos. I'm, I mean, I'm super excited for duos. I think it's going to be a great game mode. So yeah, just as a little recap, I don't think we're too sure when these things exactly are, dates-wise. But 2022 is duos. I mean, that's all. that's all we know. That's all we can go off. Uh, there's, I assume there's going to be a short preseason. Maybe there's going to be a couple weeks of just nothing uh, while you, they let you learn the season and play arena and so on and so forth. Jewels is exciting. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little short one, just like a little, little tips and tricks, just what to think about going into duos. Not too much more to talk about, really. We've just got to wait and see what the season holds for us. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.